All right, the race for the White House in 2024 is shaping up with a major battle set in the ever-increasing gap between the cultures of voters on the left and on the right. According to a recent op-ed by the Wall Street Journal, Republican voters feel the American way of life is threatened by the liberal infiltration of government, media, education, corporations, even entertainment, all pushing a very far-left ideology about race and gender and justice. A lot of conservatives are very worried right now. Let's get more on that with one of the GOP candidates for president, Perry Johnson, who you can watch in prime time as he runs for president in 2024, Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Newsmax. Sir, good to have you here on the set. Well, I'm delighted to be here. So let's let's talk about that. I mean, that, I think the one thing that's, that, that is the scariest for Americans right now is, is what's happening to the, to the soul of this country, to the, to the culture of this country. It feels like we're losing everything at the same time. We are. As a matter of fact, we've lost sight of what is really important in life. Yeah. Keep in mind that they did a survey recently, and they found that only about 38, 39 percent of the young kids believe patriotism is important. Only about the same number believe that it's important to have kids. Right. And only about the same number believe that religion is important. The entire fabric of the entire country has changed. But uh, I wrote a book. Mm -hmm. Two cents to save America. Right. And the point is, we've gone nuts. Yeah. Reckless spending on both sides, both yeah. the Democrats and the Republicans. Keep in mind that in 2000, we were $6 trillion in debt. Now we are literally $32 trillion in debt. The numbers are so staggering, people can't even relate to it. That's why we have inflation. We, we don't have a government that works for this country anymore. They work Not for at themselves. All. In fact, the interest on the debt is so great yeah. that the each family, on an average, spends yeah. $610 a month in interest payments yeah. on that debt. So when you go and we talk to the people, like I did yeah. this weekend, right. about the future of the country, and they realize that if we keep going like this, yeah. there will be no Social Security for them. There will be no Medicare. They can't send their kids to college. Yeah. All these things that are the great things that made America will be a thing of the past. It's all, it's all falling apart. It is very scary. Talking about 2024, though, and, and maybe fixing some of these problems, CPAC over the weekend, or, or Turning Point, I should say, you go to Florida, there's a straw poll at yes. Turning Point, and you get second place in the straw poll, I think around 8%. So look at that, 7.8%. Trump obviously won the day by a large margin. You beat Ron DeSantis in the state of Florida in a straw poll. I think that shocked a lot of people. Did it shock you? Uh, actually, it shocked me. But I do know this. The young people love my message. Yeah. And the Republicans have ignored the young people for a long time. The future of our country. Yeah. They are the people that would determine our future in 10 and 20 years. And you know what? They really do love this country. Yeah. And they want to have an opportunity for their kids. But the only way that's going to happen is if we pay attention Right. to what's going on right now. That's why I wrote the book, and that's why I have a plan. Talk about Trump here for a second. I, I mean, you have Jack Smith. They're, they're talking about an indictment coming regarding January 6th here pretty soon. Uh, the indictments just keep flying against this man as he runs for president. It seems very clear. I think a lot of people are waking up to really what's going on here. It is, and you, you cannot use our justice system to weaponize. No. You know, keep in mind that when Joe Biden... And his son had $10 million siphoned literally into their various companies. They were siphoned right into these companies that nobody knew about, that they were trying to cover up. Nothing was done. Yeah. What about the cocaine in the White House? Right. Is there a more secure building in the world? Is there a building that has more cameras per square inch than the White House? But no record. No, nothing, right? <laughs> tells you, Couldn't find tells anything. you a lot, doesn't it? Tells you a lot. I want, I want to talk about DeSantis, too. We talked about uh, Trump. You know, he's, he's maybe looking good on paper. He's got over $20 million during his first six weeks of campaigning. But he's burned through a lot of the money, and he's not really getting, he's just not climbing. He's, he's not finding a way to whittle away at, at Trump's big lead. What do you think of the DeSantis campaign at this point? Well, obviously, it's not going the way that he wanted it to go. But yeah. DeSantis yeah. is the person that got a lot of fame because of COVID. Yeah. And nobody really knows much of anything until we have the debates. Yeah. My goal right now is to get on the debate stage. Right. And, uh, in fact, I have a concert in Iowa, big and rich, for all my donors. Yeah. In fact, if yeah. somebody donates uh, two cents, they get to go to this concert. But I'm looking for a way of thanking the people 
because you need 40,000 donors to get on that debate stage. Yeah. And even though I'm funding my own campaign, they yeah. have these crazy rules. Yeah, I got it. Perry Johnson, the show's 9 p.m. Sunday nights here on Newsmax, running for president. Good to have you on, sir. Delighted. All right. Enjoy life. Thank you.